Hi, my name is Noor, a student doctor. Can I please get your name and your age? My name is Benjamin and I'm 24 this year. Hi Benjamin, nice to meet you. So today I've been asked to perform a respiratory examination on you that will involve me having a listen at your chest and have a look around it. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it should be fine. Do you have any questions before we start? Um, will we start? No, no. Alright. And do you have any pain currently? No, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, that's great. So for the purpose of the examination, I need you to expose yourself from the waist up. So can you please dress on the bed and uh, undress for me, please? Sure. Okay, that's great. I think it's very good. Thank you. Okay, so I'll just be looking at your general appearance at the end of the bed. So just looking at you now, a uh, patient looks comfortable and not in any respiratory distress. There is no signs of accessory muscle use and there is also no sign of first sleep breathing. Patient's nutrition looks good and there is no signs of cachexia. And just looking at the bedside for a medical adjuncts, there is no uh, inhalers or any spray can pop. So I'll take this to help. Okay, so can you rest your hands on the pillow? Yeah. Okay, and put both of, relax both of your hands like so and your palm facing, facing down. Okay, so I'm just going to be checking for the signs of clubbing. So checking for the first stage of clubbing, which is fluctuations of the nail bed. At every fingers, using both of my thumbs. Okay, and checking for the second stage of the clubbing, can you uh, spray out your hands like that? Okay, that's great. Can you put both of your index finger like so and let the nails meet, please? Okay, so checking for the third stage of the clubbing, which is the increase in the curvature of the nail bed and also the fourth stage of the clubbing, which is the drumstick appearance. Okay, that's great. And do you have any pain on your wrist? No. Also, there's no sign of the fifth stage of clubbing. Okay. Can you flip your hand like so? Okay, so next. Okay, so temperature is not okay. So can you just shake my hand there for me? Okay, that's great. Okay, so your pulse is normal at 72 beats per minute and your respiratory rate is also normal at 16 breaths per minute. Your hands up like so. Right. Okay, so just check it for fine tremors. Okay, there's no sign of fine tremors. That's great. Okay, can you please cock your wrist up to it like so? Okay. Okay, there's no signs of extremities. Okay, you can rest your hands there and I'm just going to have a look at your face now. Okay, there's no sign of conjunctival pattern. Okay, you can rest your hands now. I'm also looking for signs of horny syndrome. There's no signs of anhydrosis, myosis, stosis, or anophthalmus. Okay, so can you please open your mouth? Okay, and stick your, uh, put your tongue at the roof of the mouth. Okay, there's no signs of central sinusis and also no sign of candidiasis. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a closer look at your neck. Can you please look to the left for me? Okay, so just looking for the GVP between the two heads of the sternocleidomastite muscle. Okay, that's great. You can dress your uh, neck back to the front and I'm just going to have a feel around your neck. Okay, so just put me for the submental, submandibular, preauricular. Can you come a bit forward? Postauricular, occipital. Posterior cervical chain, anterior cervical chain, and supraclavicular. Next, I'm just going to uh, have a look at your wing pipes. Okay, so it might be a bit uncomfortable, but I'm just going to be feeling around your wing pipe. Okay, so just placing my fingers on the clavicle here and looking for tracheal deviation. There's no signs of tracheal deviation. Can you take deep breath in and out for me, please? There's no sign of tracheal duct. Okay, that's great. Next, I'm just going to be checking for the tricosternal distance. That's about three fingers. Next, I'm just going to have a closer look at your chest. Can you please sit forward for me? 
okay and put your arms up like so okay so just looking for a scar such as lateral thoracotomy scars okay can you please put your hands on your waist and bend forward for me please okay so just looking for a chest wall deformity such as factors excavatum and factors carinatum which are not evident here okay you can rest your hands by your side and i'm just gonna have a look at the anterior posterior diameter okay that looks normal and there is also no sign of intercostal muscles in drawing okay next i'm just gonna have a feel of the chest okay so just locating the angle of the knee and that is the second leg third rib fourth rib fifth rib okay so that's the fifth intercostal space and this is the leg cavity belong and in fact space this way Okay, so uh, Ben, can you please uh, sit at the edge of the bed for me? And I just get you to say 99 every time I put my hands on you, okay? Alright. Okay. So, uh, 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, can you lift your hands like so? Okay. 99. 99. 99. Okay, that's great. You can rest your hands now and I'm just gonna have a tap on your chest. Okay, man, can you please uh, lift your hands up? Okay, and I'm just going to be tapping as well. Okay, that's great. Resonance note is normal. Okay, you can rest your hands by your side. And I'm just going to have a listen of your chest now. Okay, so Ben, can you please take deep breath in and out through your mouth and keep your mouth open whenever you feel the stethoscope? Is that okay? Sure. So I'm just going to be listening over at the side and you just do the same as I've told you. Okay. Alright. Okay, so next, Ben, I'm just going to be putting over my stethoscope on your chest. And can you please say 99 every time you feel the stethoscope for me, please? Sure. Okay, that's great. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Can you lift your arms up now? Alright. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, that's great. Right. Okay, you turn the other way and I'm just gonna do everything I've done at the front at the back. All right. Okay, next, so I'll just be grabbing your chest. Can you take deep breath in and all the way out and hold it there? Okay, and deep breath in. Okay, that's great. So next, I'm just going to be putting my hands on your chest and can you see 99 every time you feel my hands? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, next, I'm just going to be tapping on your chest and I just need you to hug this pillow for me and bend forward a little bit. Okay, that's great.
Okay, next, I'm just gonna have a listen of your chest. Okay, please take deep breath in and out through your mouth every time you feel the stethoscope on you and keep your mouth open, please. Sure. Okay, so next I'm just gonna be putting my stethoscope on you and can you please say 99 every time I put the stethoscope? Sure. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, that's good. Alright. Next, I'm just gonna. Have the feel of your back, okay? Okay, there's no evidence of sinker. Okay, so next I'm just gonna feel have a feel of your legs. Okay, you can touch the finger now and just uh, rest comfortably on the foot. So I'm just gonna have a feel behind the lateral and the medial medullus for pedal edema. And I'll just wait for a few seconds. Okay, there's no signs of pedal edema on the right leg. And there's no sign of pedal edema on the left leg as well. Okay, so that completes my examination on you. Alright. Okay, thank you very much, Ben. Do you have any questions for me? No, I'm fine. Okay, thanks so much and you can get dressed now. So today I saw Ben, a 23-year-old man who came in for a respiratory examination. My examination revealed no characteristic marker and clinical manifestation of any respiratory pathology. Mm -hmm. So on examination, there was normal symmetrical chest expansion, normal percussion, normal vocal resonance and vocal parameters by mm -hmm. On auscultation, the Ben has vascular breathing with equal air entry bilaterally with no added sound. To complete the examination, I would like to do chest x-ray, arterial blood test, pulmonary function test, and take a look.